everybody, my name is Old School Nerd, and this, uh, it's, it's Tuesday, Arising Empire Records. This one's called Venues. Uh, the name of the song is Unspoken Words. Now, a lot of people have asked me to do a reaction to this one. They said it's something that I'm really going to enjoy. We shall see. Let's uh, take a look. Um, uh, it's, it looks kind of sad. I see tears in her eyes. I see dark, moody lighting, which means it's going to be happy, happy, fun times. Flowers and rainbows and unicorns, I think. Odds are, it's definitely not any of those things. Here we go. Venues, unspoken words. I have all of their information in the description below. Please check them out. Let's go. Four minutes, six seconds. Oh, that's nice. When I said that's nice, I didn't, I wasn't. I'm recording this live on Twitch and everyone's finding this very, very funny. Shut up, Rob. Oh, and of course, Tori, who's here, who didn't even think to warn me about this. Fuck. <laughs> exactly. She's laughing at me going, huh, that's what she said, which is worse than Wretched Rob. All of you are enjoying this now on YouTube and everyone get your laughs out now that I've said that the way it is. But you should have been here on last night on Twitch because I did it live and this is really what happened. I don't fake any of this. That's what she said. Oh!
she burning a picture of herself before all of this? I feel like she's carrying her innocence. Like the wrapped, it's like a baby. I don't think it's a baby she was carrying. I think it might be her innocence is gone and she's carrying it. And is she burning a picture of herself before the success? Before? I mean, the, the song is incredible. And everyone in, in the chat during this reaction talking about how chunky it is, the, the breakdown, the setup, the way it's arranged. It is amazing. I was captivated by the video and not for the slurry sexual parts. There's something very serious here, and I'll talk about it when we're done. I just want to get through the rest of this first. Let's keep going. That's what I thought it was. All right. Um, okay. So this little summary of the Motley Crue uh, docu-pick, The Dirt, seen from the perspective of a female front singer, is brought to you today uh, by Venues. Um, everything starts off about the music, about the art, about the, the smiles and everything else. Um, there is a lot of sacrifice and not everything goes easy. Um, one of the things that I get to do, I'm blessed by getting to talk to a lot of different artists. And they all have one thing they all tell me. And that's life doesn't stop. Like the difficulties of life, the tragedies of life. The way, here we go again. Look at that on the, the ceiling up there. Okay, so we're back. And um, so... Some of the things that they talk about is keeping yourself grounded. There have been a lot of musicians that I've spoken to that have to step away from their band, step away from their projects, that literally walk away for a time because it was all consuming, not just physically, but emotionally, spiritually, and the stress level, the anxiety level, the pressure put on you by your fans, your label, yourself as an artist. And sometimes you find any way you can just to get through the day, whether it be drugs, alcohol, sex, personal abuse, living that ridiculously aggressive lifestyle. And at the end of it, a lot of artists come back and they look back where they started and they wish they could go back to that. There are artists all the time that we look at them and go, man, what it would be so cool to be them. You could not give me the billion plus dollars that Taylor Swift has in her bank account for me to have her life. I could not imagine what that's like to not be able to even do anything without being mobbed by a thousand people. And although everybody talks about how awesome it is, you talk to any serious long-term rock star and until they find the balance and ground themselves using Friends, family, therapy, sometimes getting breaks from things. It takes a toll. I mean, look at James Hetfield now versus James Hetfield in 2000. That's a totally different cat because he had to reevaluate everything who he is. Sometimes artists make those changes and they save their lives. Sometimes those artists, we see them in, in memoriam uh, through years, dead too young, careers, lives shattered because it is not an easy life. For all the people that say, I want to be a rock star, you really need to think about what you say when you say those words. Um, this is an amazing video. And yeah, there are parts in there that make us giggle and laugh. And, you know, like I said, I made the joke about it being Motley Crue's The Dirt, but from a female perspective. Yeah, maybe. But that was just a joke. If you think about this video, as powerful as the music is, the visuals and the story she's telling are even more powerful and important. That, hey, share this with someone. This might actually help someone who's going through a really dark time in their life. Maybe they're not alone when they feel like they've lost things that they wish they could keep. There you go. 
My name is Old School Nerd. This one was amazing. Thank you, Venus, for sharing this. And with that, at the end of this, it's the end of my reaction. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right over there. A big thank you to all my Patreons out there for everything you do. And if you want more content like this, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.